privilege of being an operator for Dreamscape by Antonia Rachel Ward. When I saw her post on Twitter the way she had promoted her story, the first thought in my mind came Cyberpunk Alice in Wonderland. With a synopsis and a telling like that, I was yanked into the story without any more convincing. Unfortunately, the story is a bit slow to get into. It starts with the missing sister storyline, which seemed a bit uninteresting to me. I had gotten 12 pages in when I realized reading this, it feels like the author expected readers to know all about the world and its characters, so I felt a bit underwhelmed with the lack of information about the world and characters. Without warning, a new character takes the lead at chapter 3, feeling like neither characters were only needed for a short purpose rather than a justifiable multi-POV. I really struggled with Wen's storyline. Most of her storylines seemed quite repetitive. Leah was okay to follow along, but again, at times it was repetitive, but yet not repetitive at the same time, if that makes sense. Then by chapter 19, we were following three different POVs. Not gonna lie, I was really struggling to feel attached to any of the characters. Unfortunately, after reading it, I didn't get an Alice in Wonderland vibe. I'm not familiar with Steampunk, so I can't say anything about it. In the last 10%, the story feels very DIY, almost like the first 90% of the story was pointless because the trapped figure figure out their own way. The ending seems overly too convenient, but I'm not sure if the author was struggling to end the story or struggling for the characters to play by her roles, but it just feels flat. I wish Antonia Rachel Ward good luck with her writing career, but she just isn't an author for me.